Hi, I'm Phil Graff from Graff Tree Care. Today's March 1st, 2011. It's a great day to be out here working with the trees, a great day to be alive. We're especially excited these days because we've launched a new division of our business, Geographic Information Systems, or GIS. We're working with municipalities, park districts, golf courses, land developers, large landowners, even homeowners, helping them map their trees and other natural resources. The start of any good GIS project always begins with tree inventory, collecting data and finding out what we have. I'm Steve Lane, I'm an ESRI certified ArcGIS user and a certified arborist um, and have been doing tree inventories around the Chicagoland area and abroad uh, up to and including Seattle, Washington for about the last six years or so. Um, and I just want to tell you a little bit about doing uh, you know, tree inventory and kind of what is involved with it. Uh, essentially what we do is we collect information on these small handheld units by doing an assessment of the health of each individual tree that we walk up to. We measure them and get a size, a basic condition rating, and if there's anything wrong with the tree, such as it has any diseases or insects or past pathogens that need to be, uh, need to be dealt with. Um, and when we record this information in digital form, we're able to bring it back in and create a map that's a digital representation of, of the real trees and real world that are out here. Uh, what this enables us to do is, is really uh, give uh, not only uh, village foresters, um, property managers, and, and such, uh, a quick tool to be able to deal with their natural resources and trees, uh, but it also enables us to help them manage those resources and track them and track their uh, their uh, their health and, and overall condition. Um, so you know, as of right now, we're out in the field shooting all of these street trees uh, down this row right now, and we're going to come up with a map for the entire uh, for the entire village that we're out in right now that uh, that details what condition their trees are in. Um, and, uh, and what they might need to do to maintain a good, healthy, vigorous uh, forest population. Now we're back at the office and we're going to show you what we're going to do with the data that was collected out in the field. But first again, let me explain in case you're wondering what exactly is Geographic Information System and how are our friends at Graph Tree Care helping their clients manage their natural resources? Well, let me first say that there's many wordy and confusing definitions to GIS. But simply put, it's a way of connecting a map with data. It relates a geographic feature on Earth, or in our case, a tree, with a map, an aerial photograph. We take these and we mesh them into a digital environment. The data can then be queried, in other words, ask questions of the data to find data sets fast. For instance, where are my 2400 ash trees? Or what trees need to be pruned? From these, we can take it and create a work lists for crews, or we can find trees that were identified through an inventory as being hazardous and create maps and exhibits that are prepared very easily. So welcome back to the office. Now that we've collected our data out in the field, we're about to bring it into a GIS environment. So what we need to do is dock our handheld and be able to move the information from off the handheld onto the computer, which I've done already. Um, so in the GIS environment, we're able to create a base map, which such things as aerial photography parcel layer information with addresses, streets and street names, and of course the data we collected out in the field being comprised of the trees. All of this put together is a GIS map, which again is a digital representation of the world we live in and all of the information about it. Now if we zoom in a little bit closer and take a look at the individual trees, there's several things that are very important that we're able to do. The first is to be able to really get into the information behind those dots there and query it such as here where we've pulled up the query screen 
So we can ask questions about information, such as in this case we want to see all records of green ash. Once we've pulled those records out, we can then symbolize them, such as here where we're looking at the damage from the emerald ash borer. Trees in red are ones with severe damage, trees in green with none, and trees in yellow are ones with moderate damage. What this also enables us to do is, is once we've queried these records, such as ones for hazard prune, as seen here, we can get this information to the village public works or forestry department so that they can get crews out on the spot as soon as possible to take care of these trees and ensure that we, our parkways stay beautiful and healthy and free of hazardous trees.